What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this drowsy, dreary midweek Wednesday. Doing pretty good myself. Uh, it appears that Lake Lanier continues to claim the lives of those who dare, and I repeat, who dare go and venture down in those murky waters of that lake, okay? As in this particular situation right here, it says, body of missing Georgia dad of two found in Lake Lanier. Everything he did was for us, daughter says. The body of Walter Juarez Gordado, 37, was discovered two days after he fell off a jet ski, making him the 12th person to drown in the lake this year, okay? Some of you may be familiar with the live stream that me and John did. It was our last live stream. I think it was just last month. Well, we talked about the mysteries, you know, uh, and the many deaths, you know, the lives that's been claimed in Lake Lanier, okay? Um, let's get into this particular article right here. It says, uh, and I guess this is the guy right here, Walter Juarez Gordado, okay? It says here, the body of a father who went missing after he fell off a jet ski in a Georgia lake was recovered Monday, authorities said, in a statement shared with people. The Georgia Department of Natural Resources, DNR, said authorities were notified of a possible drowning Saturday at East Bank Park in Gwinnett County on Lake Lanier. The department said that the victim identified as Walter Rerez Gordado, 37 of Roswell, was riding a jet ski without wearing a life jacket, adding that he fell off the vehicle and swam to shore okay now i'm gonna say this i wonder had he had a life jacket on would he still have drowned in lake lanier you know maybe some other lake he probably wouldn't have but lake lanier more than likely he may have who knows but let's continue a witness on shore stated that they believe the man swam back out to retrieve his jet ski went under and then resurfaced the dnr statement continued Gwinnett County Fire Department searching use well search using aviation and boat mounted sonar until dark. Game wardens search, searched all day on Sunday using sonar equipment, but the man was not located. So where was he in those two days that they couldn't find his body? I mean he was right there. Some sinister going on, you know, um, in that particular lake right there. Some have said it may have something to do with the black towns. Our ancestors were basically drowned out, you know, in Oscarville, you know, that whole entire situation right there, you know, and there could be some kind of spiritual vengeance going on here. I don't know, but something definitely is afoot with Lake Lanier. I can say that much. To continue here, it says Guadalupe's girlfriend had been looking for him Saturday evening, but was unable to locate him. NBC affiliate, but uh, affiliate WXAA TV reported. The search resumed Monday morning, said DNR, well, said the DNR, and Gordado's body was recovered from 20 feet of water around 12 p.m. local time. Gordado's family told ABC affiliate WSB TV that the victim was the father of two girls. They described him as a family man who ran his own business, okay? Uh, he cares about family a lot. Gordado's oldest daughter, Angie Juarez, told the station, he cares about his daughters and his mother. Everything he did was for us, okay? Condolences to the family for their loss here, but uh, for those would-be venturers that, you know, want to check out Lake Lanier, my advice be to you, just don't do it. You know what I mean? There's been so many lives lost at that lake, mysteriously. Um, there was a guy that he lost his life at Lake Lanier. He dived off of a bank or whatever, you know, and uh, got electrocuted. They never really found the source of what actually electrocuted that that fella you understand what i'm saying but they claim that there was a nearby uh farm you know that 
had an electric box on or something. I still don't understand how that could have something to do with Lake Lanier's water. Okay, I just don't. Makes no sense to me whatsoever. Seems like to me they were trying to come up with some kind of logical explanation for this man's, you know, passing. But I don't believe that's what it was. I really don't. There's some sinister going on with Lake Lanier. Okay. Now to continue here, it says a GoFundMe was launched to pay for Garado's funeral expenses and provide financial assistance for his family. As of Wednesday morning, the fundraiser has generated over $15,000. Walter was a loving father of two daughters, Angie and Valentina. Read the GoFundMe description. He was such an adventurous, athletic, and caring person. His family and friends meant the whole world to him. Thank you all who showed their love and support during this difficult time of our lives. May God bless you and your loved ones. People has reached out to the GoFundMe organizer for comment. Officials said Gordado is the 12th person to drown in the lake this year. The Atlanta Journal Constitution reported. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's scary, man. Yeah, but some some says, you know, well, there's a video about Oscarville, you know, where some of the descendants from, you know, of the uh, people, the ancestors, you know, um, give their views on, you know, what happened to their people and how that town was actually drowned out, period. A black town. See, so, hey... Who knows? It may be some sort of validity to as to why, you know, these people are being took in Lake Lanier. I don't know. But I want you guys to tell me what you think about the particular story. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts on it in the comment section. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we're being watched simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.